Welcome to another new video. So in today's video, we are going to talk about Haze Pink. So um, Haze Pink is part of the uh, uh, Haze Colors, the limited edition uh, Shemink uh, Super Granulating Haze Series Colors. Um, and there are five colors in the series. I will maybe do a, a summary of these three, five colors in, in a future video. But this is the color, um, Haze Pink. Um, pigments used are PR233 and PB36. So there are actually two uh, options or two colors that has got PB36 as a pigment. And I, I, I think I've selected the Cobalt Green Turquoise. Um, the other one is more a blue um, Cobalt Cerulean. Next, it is um, supposed to be transparent. Uh, as you can see from the open square uh, it has good light fastness um, four stars normally there's five stars so the previous one we saw uh, was five star right so this one has four staining it's semi staining and uh, i have not done the staining up i'm not done that again so i'm gonna do it later granulation of course look at the granulation i'm um, super granulating I, I think i should actually de delete this this is a waste of space <laughs> so let's look at the swatch right now so if you look at the swatch, I try to actually use quite a lot. Uh, normally when I do a, the swatch, I would write the name of the, of the color. And then um, I would actually use uh, more color at the top and I, I, I you know, dilute it down uh, to, to less uh, at the bottom. So it's quite similar to the gradient, but I actually uh, do put a little bit more and I put it flat. This one, I actually put it on a, on a uh, recline. So um, you, you can see that the colors um, don't get really, doesn't get very dark. So if you can, you can actually still see the, the lines. So the first line was done uh, before I swatched it and this is done after I swatched it. So you can, if you notice, there isn't a lot of difference. So that's why it is a um, transparent color. And then it does, um, you can see quite a lot. Even though I use a lot of pigment, it's, it feels a bit gritty. I think it's because of the potter's pink uh, that's inside the paint. Um, and, and it doesn't get very dark. So this is as dark as I can get this part, okay? Um, and it does dilute down and separates out really nicely. You can actually see this in the paint in water test uh, where that polar pink just 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 sinks down where you put your where you have your brush in and that uh, cobalt green turquoise just diffuses out like as a rim outside surrounding the colors and in the uh, water in paint you could see it push the uh, cobalt green turquoise out because they are kind of smaller particle. See that this nice mushrooming effect but your porter's pink is still where it is, right? So let's do the um, <laughs> the test uh, where we scrub out the colour. So I'm not good at scrubbing. I think this is, I'm not sure even, not even sure if I'm scrubbing it right, okay. So um, I believe it's uh, supposed to be semi-staining. So yeah, so as you can see, I managed to scrub out moles or quite a lot of the potter's pink out. So um, you still have the finer particles and the uh, cobalt green turquoise that's uh, kind of like stuck at the bottom. But it's, it's definitely more, um, uh, you know, uh, you can remove more of this uh, compared to the, uh, the haze brown. <laughs> And if you look at the gradient test, you, you know how that works because your potter's pink um, deposit, deposits at the top and, and, and it just sinks down and that, that cobalt green turquoise just coming down. So I believe that it's actually like quite a wide distribution of um, uh, potter's pink. They're very fine particles, so it actually that it, it gets, you get, it gets a little bit greyish. Um, it's not as clear as the cobalt green turquoise um, that's uh, pure, right? So when we look at the uh, similar colors, um, I can't find a similar color because of just how crazy granulating and the texture that it offers is just um, different um, out, of, out of this world. So um, the closest I could find is actually the Glacier Green, which is also one of the uh, um super, super granulating colors. So this was what I have done um, previously. So this is the Glacier Green. So of course it's a uh, Glacier, green and it has actually more of the uh, PG50. So PG50 is actually, if I'm not on cobalt turquoise, is it? <laughs> yeah, so it's another pigment, but it also has the potter's pink. As it's called glacier green, it actually has got more red, uh, bluish, greenish color. All right, so I, I think the difference is a lot of uh, the haze pink has more top of the potter's pink and the glacier green has got less of it. This is the most, the closest color. Um, and the mixture, um, what I can say is, it's really quite, it does um, dull colors. 
and when you have the really bright colors over here it desaturates them make them darker turn them into like a dust uh, muted color that you can uh, grayish tone and some of these are really quite nice so it's made up of potter's pink and a cobalt, cobalt green turquoise and this is this is what i could i could mix i think it's pretty similar okay it's quite successful um and i think you a lot um this is not quite a common color most a lot of brands has it and this is the the probably also another one that's pretty easy to get so if you have these two there's no need for you to buy this color and you can actually mix different gradients of it if you have more of the cobalt uh, green turquoise you can make it look like a green glacier green if you use more of the potter's pink you get the uh, haze pink color so yeah what i i think this color it's more gray than a pink like if you look at it from far if you don't see if you don't go very close to it you can't really see that pink pigment it will look seem to you like it's a gray color um, i mean which is quite fitting because i think most of the haze colors do look a bit grayish um, so you can use this really nicely on as, as a, like a rich textured shadow um, or, or I think rock surfaces, things that you like walls, um, uh, trees and stuff like that, things that you want some texture, you can actually use this one. Um, would I suggest, would I recommend getting this color? Uh, if you have these two, no, right? But not if, you, if not, I think the, um, uh, the, the color is pretty interesting. So I, I would say that if you really want to, you want some color that is special, um, that you have not seen before and, and, and has got interesting separation, because it does have very interesting separation, if you can see over here, it has nice separation. So if you really like this kind, uh, if you like these two colors together, yeah, you can just go get it and um, yeah, they, 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 you know, you will save you the time from mixing. So that's, that's what I always think. Um, for, for this kind of a convenient mixture. So let's go and see how I actually use it in a sketch um, in the next segment. This is a short front drawing that I did uh, with Haze Pink. Um, in fact, this shop is actually um, not this color. It's white in color. Um, but then I thought that uh, we, you know, the Haze colors are, are kind of grayish and we can use it to de depict um, shadow. So I use it quite a lot, especially, can you see the, the texture over here? all around i actually painted use the color to paint all these um i believe i also mix so i use it on it's a, as a overglaze or and as an underpainting like this one this part over here yeah so this is how it would actually look so you, can you see it doesn't really look very pink especially if you compare it to other colors it does look more gray we have come to the end of the video i hope that you have enjoyed this really short uh, review of the haze pink and um, look out for more uh, Shermin's Horridum Super Granulating Colors coming up, uh, videos coming up because they have just came up with a whole new series of uh, Volcano, uh, Desert and Shire Colors and I managed to get my hands on them so I'm very uh, excited to share with you, okay? So I'll see you in the next video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and if you uh, like to see similar ones, uh, just hit that notification bell. I post a video almost once a week and I do a lot of uh, watercolor reviews. So if you like to, if there's any particular color that you like me to review, just let me know. And uh, yeah, it might come up in the next one. All right, so uh, have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.